Hey, how's it going, Robert? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where you're at online. Uh, how much business is your website getting? Um, how much business is your top competitor getting? All right, I'm going to reverse engineer you and your top competitor, show you exactly what it's going to take um, to get you to corner more consumers in the market that are looking for uh, dental work or more specifically braces Invisalign or an orthodontist here in San Diego okay um, so pretty much what I'm going over is search engine optimization if you've heard of it all right so um, as you can see we're on my business page my company's amp local uh, we're an inter internet marketing agency here in San Diego so you can visit the site for more information uh, please do so I just want to jump right into the video so here's your site over 90% of the population, when they need a product, product or service, no matter what it is, they're going to use Google. Okay, so whether it be you know braces, carpet cleaning, uh, a lawyer, looking for a new house, uh, need to get a car wash. All right, they're going to alert you, use Google to find these services. All right, and over 96% of them, about 96% of them, are going to click from the very first page of Google. Okay, so. Uh, knowing this, getting you and your business at the top of these searches can be very, very, very profitable, right? Um, just to give you an idea, the number one ranked person on Google gets about 35% of the market, okay? That's huge, total 35%. And as you can see, number 10 is the last spot on page one. Um, they get barely maybe 3%. And as you can see, as your the second page starts at 11, it goes down 1%. So if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. That's really what it boils down to. Okay, so to find you and your business, there's multiple ways, right? You offer an array of services as an orthodontist. You have Invisalign. You have, um, you know, braces, uh, other dental work that you may do. Um, people could be searching for you as an orthodontist, or maybe um, they could use dentist as well. But you're more specifically found in searches here in San Diego, from what I found, as orthodontist. Um, so as you can see, like orthodontist gets searched a thousand times per month, per month in San Diego. That's huge. That's, that's a lot of searches on average. Um, and braces, let's see, do I have braces up here? Braces get searched 1300 times. So combined, that's 2300, um, potential leads you could be cornering, you know, every month. Um, and then every month, you know, on average, you know, someone's looking for an orthodontist with, for braces, for Invisalign, or something of that nature around 10 to 12,000 times per month. So, I mean, there's huge potential. And then here are all the key words you can rank your business for. Braces, orthodontist, orthodontic, braces cost, you know, clear braces, Invisalign, invisible braces. Um, so many different things. Um, you know, dental implants, if you do that as well. Uh, you know, the keyword dentist, you know, always is a very profitable one. Retainers, how much are braces, you know? So if you're at the top of all these searches, you're cornering all this market. I mean, huge potential. Um, so let's talk about some of the keywords that I was able to find you in, all right? Um, so you have two locations, right? You have one in La Jolla, and then you have the Carmel Valley, which is in San Diego, okay? So the La Jolla one has a La Jolla address, obviously and the Carmel Valley is, uh, has a San Diego address, all right? So for Braces San Diego, all right, very big keyword search here. Um, didn't find you in the maps, but we found you ranked right here at number seven, okay? So you're on page one for this one keyword, okay? So page seven is getting you what? You're cornering only about 4% of the market for this keyword, okay? four percent so if we moved you right here to number one you'd be 35 percent see the big difference literally um, you know nine times nine X in your business just from the one, this one keyword uh, here's another keyword uh, we found you in San Diego orthodontist all right you're ranked number 10 on the first page all right so again number 10 about four percent all right again if we moved you up to number one you know above these directories and above your main competitor here one of your top competitors you get 35 percent of this 
And how many times is this going to be searched? About a thousand times per month. So same thing with Orthodontist San Diego. So for this one, when someone punches in Orthodontist, then the city of San Diego, you're actually on, um, you're on page two. Okay, so this was page two, and then you're located right here. So that's number 11, 12, 13. So as you can see, when you move to page two, I mean, maybe 1%, you know, nobody really even clicks to the second page. I'm sure you can contest to this yourself, right? All right, so that's some of the keywords that I've found you in. So I want to get into the organic. So real quick, let me clear this up just in case you, you know, I mean, I'm sure you know, this is your Google Maps. This shows uh, the searcher, all the local businesses, right? And this is the organic listings. So if you're number one in maps and number one in organics, that's potentially corn in, you know, seven, about 70% of the market there for the one keyword search. All right, so let me talk about the maps. The only one um, I found you in, I'm only going to find you in uh, La Jolla, it's a smaller population, all right. So for um, I found you in for Invisalign La Jolla, you are actually. Let's see, you are. I believe actually you're on the second page. So Invisalign La Jolla, second page. There you go, Robert A. Sunstein, DDS Orthodontist. Okay. So even for your local listings for La Jolla, you're on the second page, okay? I was able to find you on for this keyword search. Uh, the other ones, um, uh, I think you you were actually on, let's type, here, let's just type this in real quick. I, did, I know you're on there for orthodontist. I just wanted to show you the potential. Honest, La Jolla, okay? So you're up there for orthodontist in La Jolla, which is great. Okay, so I just want to show you the potential and then your organics number three right here. All right, again, you know, look for a local search, someone in La Jolla that punches in orthodontist, um, you know, being 11% of this one search, which is a lot smaller, um, you could be 35%. So just to remind you, you know, La Jolla has a population of about 45, 46,000 people. Um, so this is this is going to be a lot lower volume search than San Diego with, you know, 3.5 million people total and then 1.4 in the city itself. So um, obviously that's that's the type of population we want to target for your business because more people, more leads, right? More clicks to the website. All right. So that's just uh, kind of where you're at right now. You know, um, you, you are popping up locally for La Jolla, um, you know some keywords far further back um, the good news is you know I can find you in San Diego so we have something to work with here you know you being on page two and being on page ones for some of these really popular keywords um, there's huge potential to move you up uh, you know to these number one spots and, and pull in a uh, ton more leads so let me show you how much traffic you're getting right now versus one of your top competitors so this is you right now okay you are getting about 44 SEO um, clicks to your website right now, okay? And I can see that you guys are, I did see an AdWord campaign that you were running, so you're getting about 60 or so clicks to your site from that. So that's been successful for you, but again, that's paid advertisement. And once you stop that, it kind of stops. You know, we're going over something that is adding, um, you know, real, it's a real investment to your real estate online, which is your your website right so about 44 clicks through the SEO someone searching you know, an orthodontist or someone that does braces here in San Diego that's mainly the two keywords you're ranking you're getting pulling business for um, so here is one of your top competitors in San Diego he's getting literally almost six times six xing the amount of business that you're getting so 225, and they're not doing paid advertisement. They're all SEO, uh, organic and uh, organic rankings and uh, Google Map rankings. Okay, so about 250, 225 per month. All right, so that's the potential market that we're looking at for you right now. All right, we're literally looking at six xing the amount of patients um, that you're getting for looking for orthodontists or braces, and not to mention Invisalign. There's so many keywords we can rank you in. Um, but these are the these are the main ones we're targeting orthodontists and, and braces and obviously like I said 
um, once we take you on, I mean, there's there, it's just endless the amount of uh, uh, keywords that we can rank you in. So, um, so let's get into it. How, you know, how do we do it? How do we get you ranked up? And how do you corner these uh, consumers looking for orthodontists and braces and Invisalign and whatnot here in San Diego? So, um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the physical website. So, 60, 60 to 80 percent of people are going to look for you on their phone. You know. You have to be mobile friendly. So your site is mobile friendly. I wanted to get that out the way because that is very, very important, and I want I need you to know that up front. All right. Um, the sec second thing I want to talk to you about is authoritative content. So in order to rank for all these keywords, um, you have to mention them on the website, and you have to mention that you're in San Diego, uh, La Jolla, or Acoma Valley, which you are doing, okay? Um, but the thing that I mean by authoritative content, you're lacking, like, a massive amount of information you want to have 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page of your website um, so everything as far as uh, so when we go back over here so when we see you here you know the page title and page description have to be optimized as well so mentioning braces orthodontist um, Invisalign uh, you know all those keywords in the city uh, is very important as well which it looks like you've built out a lot on here and um, you know I understand you, it's great to be transparent too you have the name of uh, yourself here so that's nailed out but the authoritative content is what we need to really narrow down and focus in on um, so let me show you what, I, what that looks like okay it looks like you have you know maybe 300 to 400 words on the home page right now um, let me show you what I mean. So I went to Google, I typed in elephant. Look what's number one, Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is notorious for piping, uh, popping number one because of their authoritative content. So look at all the information on this page. This is what I mean by authoritative content. Now this is a little excessive. This is probably 50,000 words. But like I said, for you, we want to have 1,000. We want to have 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page to really nail it, all right? So that's what you kind of... Uh, want to expect. Google wants to know that you're educating um, the prospect or the visitor on your website. So they want to see a lot of information. They want to be able to read through a lot of keywords. All right. You know, you mentioning, you know, the cost of braces, you know, orthodontist, you know, um, different services that you offer, you know, break really breaking it down and mentioning these latent keywords that are related to your services as well. Okay. So all this is very, very, very important. All right, so that's content. Let me talk to you next. Let's move on from there. So now we're really getting into like the meat and potatoes. So once we got the keywords and we got the content built into the website, it's optimized, right? That's kind of like the on-page optimization part. Now it's kind of like the background work. You know what is being said about your business online? Because SEO really is what do you say about your business online and what everybody else says about your business online. So now that's kind of like where we're getting into now. Um, what everybody else is saying um, about you here. So these are your local listings, right? Um, we also call these citations. So when we do them, we have to have the business name, address, and phone number identical because if not, Google is going to slap us down. Some, some examples, obviously, is the Google Maps, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, and White Pages, all right? Um, you're, you have an 85% error rate. That's a very high error rate. So the, the problem with this is that you're not going to pop up on uh, local, a lot of local searches on Google Maps in San Diego. Now you're going to dominate um, La Jolla. This is a La Jolla address, okay? And you have quite a few um, citations filled out. But look at the problem. You have so many variations in the name of your business. All right, some of them is like your name and the other ones are, uh, you know, the name of, uh, you know, orthodontist, Sun, Sunstein. There's so many different um, variations and there's some you're missing a Facebook. You may have a Facebook, but you don't have the information filled out correctly. So uh, Google's not picking it up. All right, you're missing listings and then there's variations down here in the address. So this is a very high error rate. Um, this is going to be the determining factor if you're going to show up locally all right so when we type in uh where is it so invisalign la jolla this is one of the reasons why you're far back in in this one in the local search now i'm not even going to get into san diego 
all right, you're popping up in the San Diego searches on the first and second page, but um, in your local maps, you're not showing up. You're showing up just as far back as, as you were in your local listings. So this is a, a very big, big, big part of um, cornering. I mean, you want to be listed locally and, and corner that 35% and get in that t in the top three of that maps. All right, so this is going to be the first thing, uh, the next thing that we do for you. So fixing these local listings, just top 50 in the country, you definitely want to be listed in all these. Um, as you've kind of nailed out, it's just there's a bunch of errors. Um, but there's actually thousands of these, you know, and the comp your competitors are listed in hundreds, and we're going to get you listed in those um, as well, okay? Um, it's just all about knowing where to find them and having the time to do them. Um, all right, so that's citations. So let me talk to you about the fourth and final thing. And this thing is, this is like the real cream of the crop. This is where we're talking about ranking organically. Because um, SEO really is all about links, okay? How many people or websites are linked to your business online? All right, and that's what we're looking at. So right now you have th about 13 websites out there mentioning you 38 times now this 38 couldn't include blogs and social media and stuff like that but the actual address IPs 13 okay and this is what Google's looking at they want to know how many websites are mentioning you and they want to know the quality the quality is the trust flow okay your trust flow is zero that means all of these web site links to your website right now they have zero quality so Google's not even taking them seriously. So this is directly impacting, um, you know, your your main keyword, San Diego Orthodontist, which is a huge keyword, and you're still ranked number ten um, right here. So imagine if we pointed some high quality websites, how far up are you going to jump? Okay, this is going to be the biggest one that's going to get you ranked up. Okay, so let me show you one of your top competitors in all of San Diego, San Diego Small Pro. All right, these guys are like number one for Invisalign and a lot of other keywords. All right, they have a trust flow of seven. So this tells me this is your market is very low hanging fruit. You know, this there's really nobody that knows um, that's really investing in SEO. They're kind of just getting lucky and people are just kind of mentioning them. And maybe, um, you know, there's uh, clients or patients writing blogs or mentioning them on their website and stuff like that. You know, maybe a local. A paper or something like that now they have 193 links but look their trust flow is seven so let me show you what this looks like so at a zero where you're at you're not meaning low quality these guys at a seven they're not even they're low quality they're not meeting medium quality okay anything above 20 is high quality okay and this scale is actually zero to 100 but to get anything over 20 and 25 is very 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 hard these are these links and websites are very hard to come by. So what's great about Amp Local, my company, we have so many links, almost endless amounts of links to link your website to, all very very high quality. They're actually 25 plus and 30 plus. They're actually off the charts. All right, not easy to come by, um, but we have them. So I want to show you one of our websites. Uh, we built a lead generation website for one of our solar panel uh, clients they have like seven offices in California um, so we built this site for them for in San Diego okay um, this website super solar San Diego it's got a uh, super solar San Diego okay it's got a trust flow of 33 very high quality okay we've built out 14 links we've been running blog and social media for them as well so they have 78 backlinks um, so as you can see, this thing is freaking, it's off the charts, all right? These are the type of links you can expect from us. Now, we have the capability of giving, of getting even higher quality links, um, that other, you're not going to get with other companies because they don't know it, all right? Um, so this is San Diego State University.edu, okay? So this is their website, right? One very unique thing that I'm going to share with you that we're able to do that other SEO marketers don't know about is we can get a link from universities. Okay, so what we do is we run a university campaign. Uh, we sponsor a, say, $1,000 scholarship. 
we contact all these colleges, their awards department, up to 500 in the country, um, and say, hey, we're, you know, doing a thousand dollar scholarship for uh, the students on why, you know, maybe, you know, dental implants or, or why Invisalign is better than braces. You know, for like one we did for the solar, why is solar shaping the future of the earth, you know? And they submit 500 word articles, so we'll get, you know, say, uh, you know, 50 students will submit it and we'll t pick to the top five and then say number one person wins for the most likes. We'll put them on social media and whoever gets the most likes or comments wins. Okay. And then once that happens, um, the college is going to want to mention it on their website in the awards department underneath the scholarships and um, link the business that sponsored it, that gave the $1,000 scholarship. And so whenever that happens, look at, look at SD, uh, San Diego State University, for example, .edu. Okay, anything .edu and .gov is, has incredible quality. Look at the trust flow, 68. Okay, imagine what that will do um, to a business owner. You know, the, this, this trust flow can get you ranked um, number one in any city for any niche. Okay, and we've been able to do this with, you know, tons of, in tons and tons of different markets using this strategy. All right, so this is the type of quality links that you can expect to get. All right, very high quality. Okay, this is what it's all about. What SEOs, what, uh, you know, you're saying online, what everybody else is saying online about you. So if you can get these high quality links, you can rank anywhere in the world for any niche. It doesn't matter. All right. So that kind of concludes my um, analysis for you, Robert. Um, I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, so I really hope this all makes sense for you and your business. So if you'd like, just reach back out to me. You have my email and my um, phone number. We would love to partner with you and uh, help you grow your business here in San Diego and really get those uh, positions You know where it's really going to fuel and get a lot more patients in. So... Um, just reach back out to me and we'll take the next step. So if, um, again, you know, I appreciate your time and you have a great day, Robert. Thanks. Bye.